Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. We're out and about on another adventure today, another theme park. We're in like the last three weeks of our Merlin passes now, so we're trying to squeeze every last bit of value out of them that we can. We're at Thorpe Park, but it's Thorpe Park with a slight twist compared to how we did it when the last time we were here because it's, it's just the big ones today. It's, it's me and this one and that one. Um, Andy's at his respite. Amy, <laughs> Amy's been sent to her grandparents because what we're planning for today isn't suitable for little people. If you remember when we came here last year and Amy was with us, she ended up spending most of the trip in tears because she hated all of the stuff that we were doing. And we're here specifically to do the more grown up stuff. Um, we want to do the Darren Brown thing. I don't really know what the Darren Brown thing you is. Sit down, you put a VR headset on. So we want to do that. But apparently as well, I saw an advert on TV last night that said it's Walking Dead week here as well. So I don't really know what that involves, but we're basically going to do Darren Brown messing with your mind stuff and then check out the zombie situation and Not see how we get on. Hopefully there'll be no tears from anybody this time. But I didn't like I think that. You're almost fine. To cry that. Yeah, I think of the three of us, I'm most likely to be upset this time. <laughs> So, what's our plan then? Are we heading straight over for Darren Brown and getting in that queue? Yeah. Does this close at six o'clock, like Old no, Towers did last week? No. I imagine they're five or six o'clock or fairly early. So, because it's taken us hours to get here, because Fort Park is just about the furthest away place from our house on the Merlin Pass. It's but taken it's us. This route. It's oh yeah, it's taken us like three hours to get here, taking into account a stop from McDonald's breakfast. So, it's about. It's gone eleven, isn't it? Yeah, it's half eleven. Half past eleven when we arrive. So we've realistically, if we're aiming for big rides, we've maybe got time for three or four, depending on how big the queues are. It doesn't look like it's a particularly busy day, which is good. So hopefully the queues won't be mega long. Fairly typical of us, we're at this massive theme park full of exciting stuff to do. We've just talked about how we're on quite a restricted time frame today. So of course the first thing these two want to do is go to the... It is! There we go! That was weird. The first thing these two want to do is go to the self-freezing coke machine just to work out what a self-freezing coke is. We haven't got enough money, apparently. We should have asked those kids who apparently know who I am. Right, I want to see what a self-freezing coat does. Right, so open, sip it, throw it, and then flip it. Open it. Is it freezing? You have to sip it first. And then, oh my god! That is mad. Oh my god! Oh, it's ice! But oh, why? That is science! <laughs> is it just so cold? Yeah. So you open it, let the air in, and then freeze it. Oh my god! Let me have a sip of it. <laughs> I don't really like normal Coke, but I'm intrigued. Is that all cherry? <sighs> yeah, that's basically slush. That's insane. Science is a fascinating <laughs> thing. Have you had some of this? You've got to try some. <laughs> yeah, look! Look at it! It's coming out as slush! <laughs> that is nuts! That is so cool. Wow, should we feed it some press bites? Is this like an easy thing to do? <laughs> well, there we go. Now we can go home. We've got what we came for. It might look like all we're doing after arriving is shopping and drinking Coke. We are doing this with a purpose. We already checked the first shop that we saw on the way in for baseball caps because Andy really loves the one we got from Alton Towers. And we're, go we're here today, we're at Legoland next week. We want to get him a collection of theme park, a collection of theme park baseball caps so he has a few to, a few to wear. But forget all that, there's Walking Dead pop vinyls. A theme park with pop vinyls, what more could you run? No baseball caps. Weird. Oh, 
Um, it seems that the Darren Brown ride doesn't actually open till 12, so there's currently a queue to get in the queue when the ride opens. We've got about 20 minutes before they open the gates to the queue. So I guess we're going to queue for the queue. When we came, it was three hours. So yeah, it was, the reason we didn't go on this when we came last year, partly because we had Amy with us, but the big, big part was that it was a three hour queue. So we don't really want to get involved in that. Well, the park, I don't think. This is my ghost train. I'll see you on the other side. No! It's rotting us from the inside. We're like ghosts. Hold your breath. She will hear you. Well, there we go then, we've got what we came for. What time is it now? It is... Just going on. Wow, okay, I was gonna say that didn't take very long. But when you think we joined that queue at like half past 11, that was still over an hour and a half to go through the whole process from the Darren Brown ride. Yeah, the ride didn't open till 12. We got halfway through, the queue sort of took us halfway round. And there was loads of people behind us and an announcement came out saying through at the back of the queue, it's a 90 minute wait and my heart sank a little bit. But yeah, it's about an hour from start to finish. The big log plume thing is open now as well. I've just seen a massive splash. But that was awesome. They do ask not to do any spoilers, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. But it was awesome. It's absolutely not for the faint of heart and not for kids. The only thing I would say is the headsets are fiddling. Yeah, it's uh, they've got the HTC Vive headsets in there and they're not customised for giant heads. So my glasses came off with the headset twice. <laughs> what did you think of it? Uh, it was Wait, good, but like... No, they're not there. I don't know. I did like about it that on a roller coaster, if you get scared, you've just got to deal with it. But if you got scared on there, you could just take it off. That yeah, cool. I thought it was really yeah. cool. That was basically the entire reason why we travelled all the way down to <laughs> Thorpe Park today to have a go on that. Because it was the one thing when we looked through everything that was available from all the parks on our Merlin passes, we were a couple of weeks ago, it was the one thing we hadn't done that we quite fancied. So we've now got like five hours of time in the park just to do whatever we feel like. So let's go and explore. But first I, I do need some food. I think. Look, Daryl's bike. Ooh, neither of these two want to go on the Walking Dead ride because it features live actors who may touch you and that freaks these two out. So, no Walking Dead ride for Kev. Boo. Look, because they're good last time. time. If they touch me, I'll like hit them. <laughs> still watching this fallout thing that she started watching halfway through yesterday's vlog. Still nothing's happened yet. Presumably anyone who cares who's watching this already knows what happens now. She's still very excited. What? Lunch consumed. My official review of that is uh, probably don't bother for 12 quid. It tasted like Iceland pizza. It wasn't great, considering there's a burrito bar for six quid and a Burger King for probably about 10 quid, knowing theme park prices. But I'd rather go to both of them, I think, next time. It was a little bit rough. Yeah. Next stop, Rumba Rapids, which of course, as per theme park rules and regulations, means I have to put you away again. These two are mocking me for my bag bag and my coat. I'll have the last laugh. This tempting bait for you to get wet. But I can't get wet, I'm fully waterproof. You can get wet still. It's not possible for me to get wet. Oh no! 
slightly overkill at this point as we've, we've made it to the end. <laughs> you look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. I'm dry though. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Teacups complete forever and always the best ride in any theme park. Did you how much on scale of one to ten did you love the teacups? Yeah it's great. Ten out of ten you love. Like it, you get, I lost my place. Did you love the teacups? Okay. We went on the teacups for Lucy because she's the child who's here. Remember in the car park when I said the reason Amy wasn't with us is because we were doing Thorpe Park the adult grown-up way. Well, having just finished the teacups, we're now going to the Angry Birds 4D experience. Lucy isn't letting us do the 4D experience because it's a half hour wait and she's mean. No, it's a half hour show. It's not. Yeah! It's, it's, it's 4D? No. It's like watching a film, but you get wet it's and like cold and, and smell. Huh? It's like the one we do. We want to do that. Exactly. Look at that. I want to do that. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. Who are you going to fight? You. No, because you wouldn't let me go on the Angry Birds 4D. Look, but it's fight. So if I beat you on there, we'll do Angry Birds 4D. I think that's a very fair challenge. I think I'm probably going to need to put my coat back on for this one. I think here it comes now. Maybe. You probably won't see the ride, but you'll see the push of water. Here it comes. <laughs> one second. <laughs> oh wow. You think it might not get you, don't you? Oh my god. Oh well if I wasn't wet before, eh? We got absolutely drenched on that. I've now had two different VR helmets on, been on two of the wettest roads in the park. My hair is a disaster. If we had have managed to find baseball caps, I would be wearing one now. Because, I mean, I suppose the one thing I've got in my defense with my hair is that I'm not as wet as Anna is. Did you enjoy that ride? I had my hands up. <laughs> Do you want to show everyone your photo? In fact, we should have the digital version of the photo. So I'll put that photo up here. She pulled her face. <laughs> in there a minute ago for that. Uh, we're just interrupting this family day out at the theme park for a little while. The new Fallout game has just been properly announced I think. This thing that Anna's been watching on Twitch for the last two days when we've been out and about. It's called Fallout 76 apparently. Again, I guess if you care you already know all about it. She is, uh, that, that's her day now. It's all she cares about. But all I know is something called Fallout 76 announced. Did it just make you happy? Yeah. You look like you're gonna cry. <laughs> Probably will. I'm not going it on camera, but this and Borderlands 3, I'll just, yeah, be gaming for another year, I, su I suppose. Oh! <laughs> well, Anna's promised me a coffee, but I feel like she's just walking me towards the roller coasters, which is just not cricket. Panic over. We found coffee. And also, what looks like would have been a much better place to have lunch. I wanted a wrap. Hi, yeah. what's your name? Emily. Emily. Hello, Emily. Good to Hi. meet you. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah. Hello, you are both on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say anything real nice. It's better not to talk.
Anyone new to the channel is bound to ask why I haven't been on any roller coasters today or what roller coasters have been on. I don't go on roller coasters, largely because of how unpleasant stealth was when I came here about five years ago. But this saw ride, it's like double hideous with bells on. We're having some hot donuts from the donut factory. They are delicious. The only problem is because we're all still soaking wet, the sugar is sticking to us as it falls off the donuts and uh, we're basically wet sugary messes at the moment. I'm worried I might caramelise. Well, it is now raining. We're all still soaked through. It seems like a good opportunity to make our way back to the car. Does anyone know what time it is? Yeah, half four. Okay, it's 20 past four. 20 past four. I don't think we've done too badly. We did the one ride that we came to do. The other ride that I was hoping to convince them to do, there was no convincing them. They weren't going to do the Walking Dead thing. One moment. Where's the queue for that one? <laughs> so we are going to have a slow drive home, find somewhere we can have some dinner. Despite the fact that I'm very conscious of the fact all this video has really been is us talking about the food that we've eaten today and the one ride we've been on. And the Coke. Yeah, and the, and the Coke <laughs> and all the other stuff. And the kid and the behind me getting on the camera. 76 yeah, and exactly. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So we're going to head back to the car, find somewhere to eat and we will catch up with you there. <laughs> that is soaking wet still. That has been a truly horrific journey so far. For anyone who knows, for anyone who knows the whole M25 London-ish area, and um, we've made it as far as South Mims. It's gone six o'clock now, I think. What time is it? It's one minute past six. It has gone past six. Well, sorry, one minute to six. So it's taken us like an hour and a half to get from Thorpe Park to here. That isn't very far at all. We've still got probably two hours of drive home. Traffic is just horrific. Anna is still absolutely soaked through as well. I've been struggling to stay awake in the drive over here because I thought it was going to be a shorter trip. But we've got to change of clothes for her to get into. She's still soaking wet from the ride. I need coffee, we need dinner, and then we need to brace ourselves for more just sitting in traffic. Apparently it's because of how bad the weather's been and all the floods and stuff. But everywhere we've been, it's not been raining. So I don't really get why that would cause the traffic to be really bad where it's been. But the roads we need to go on next look horrible as well. The one good thing is this service station looks like it's got absolutely everything we could possibly need. We could probably just live here. Well, we're finally on our way out of the service station, having picked up coffees from the Starbucks that's in here rather than the drive through one, which is good because the two girls behind the counter there are absolute nutters. They, and were, they were so nice. <laughs> give them money yeah Lucy's made some friends and they gave me a free taste of a drink they made up but then they yeah. gave me a big one and they've made up a drink it's the Lucy <laughs> it's a what is it black tea but with peach in peach so it's a cross between the green tea peach lemonade and just an iced tea and they, it's the Lucy apparently and they were just a pair of nutcases and they were brilliant <laughs> but we are on our way back to the car now and it's already there she's tired she's got changed but is wet and miserable still so hopefully the traffic will have eased up a little bit now that we've been in there for about an hour messing about and it should just be a fairly easy drive home so I think we are gonna end today's vlog here if you have enjoyed it please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.